KP3S Pro is a great model that provides you with high quality prints. Today let's talk about clipper in this model. Everything is the same as the KP3S. Except we use this powerful pad. The FL Sun Speeder Pad. It provides you with the clipper screen feature. Helps you control everything more easier. The power supply looks good and is durable. And most importantly, it provides enough voltage to supply clipper. That's a key to avoiding connection issues. Here is the pad itself. 7 inch touchscreen. It seems to be quite solid. And there are quite a lot of holes in the back. For ventilation and heat dissipation. On the four sides, there are USB ports, an SD card slot, and a power supply port. Switch the mode before using the pad. There are five modes according to the chips. The King Rune models are in the D mode. Click the printer icon, then choose the D mode. That's it. The pad starts to connect to the printer. Wait for a while until the error message shows. Then click settings and go set up the Wi Fi connection. Just choose the signal for your internet, then enter the password. Close the window when it's finished. Your pad should be connected. And you can see its IP address. If the current language is not what you use, go settings field to switch it. The FL Sun speeder pad supports quite a few languages. Then your pad should reboot with your language. Back to the Wi-Fi connection and remember the IP address. You will need it to enter the Clipper dashboard. It usually won't change. All right, let's get started. Put the IP in the browser, you should be entering the dashboard. There are many things you can change in the machine field. The printer configuration defines everything about your printer. Just make sure everything is correct. As for the rest of the files, just keep them that way. Then visit our site and search for Clipper. We put everything for Clipper in this article. Scroll down to the bottom, choose the bundle of your model. We will keep those files updated. And add more stuff in the future. Find the firmware file from the bundle. Then copy it to your SD card. 
Put the SD card back into the printer. Reboot it. The screen should be black after flashing it. Your printer is now on Clipper firmware. Use the USB cable to connect the printer to the pad. But you're not able to connect it now. That's what happens when the configuration is wrong. Rename or delete the original configuration. Upload the new configuration files from the bundle. Restart the firmware, it should be connected. Go to the dashboard. You can control the printer right now. For the first time, we suggest homing the axis one by one. Emergency stop it if the directions are wrong. The printer should home without any problems. Go G code files, upload prints from the bundle. It might take a while. Then you can start print. Here we show you how to control it on the pad. Just select the file and click the print button. Then you are ready to go. The clipper screen shows the icon, which is very helpful. Every status and function you need is on the pad. You can do adjustments anytime you want. The emergency stop button is essentially helpful. All you need to do is wait now. And of course, you have everything on the dashboard. Once the temperature reaches, the printer starts. The screen shows real-time statistics. And your printer works properly and fast. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Happy 3D printing. See you in the next video.